Hey, what's up guys? Grand Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. We're going to do a little face-off break today. A couple blaster boxes. We're going to do some Stadium Club 2020 versus 2021. See what we can get in here. Get right to it. You guys probably know the product by now. Obviously, it's not this year or anything like that. So, bing, bang, boom. Let's get into it. We'll do chronological order. Start with 2020. So we can get in here. Set our best cards aside. I have some vintage cards that are up in the background. Sometimes, I'm pointing that out to you guys because sometimes for some reason vintage cards really mess with the focus on my camera. So if it gets out of focus or something, I might have to pull those off screen. Just get those out of uh, kind of focus and stuff like that because they tend to hurt the videos sometimes. So we got our wide vision box topper there. I'm not really a big fan of those kind of things that are thrown in, but... Uh, We'll open it anyway, nonetheless. Matter of fact, I'm just going to get it out of the way right now. I don't think it's going to be anything great. Jake DeGrom. And actually, I've uh, I've pulled that one before. So, I don't want to go with the other Jake DeGrom box topper that I have. Nothing crazy on that. All right, we've got a few packs here. I don't know if I showed you guys the odds. I guess some people like the odds. If you want to pause right there, check that out. Be my guest. We get some parallels and stuff like that where they just basically change the uh, the foil color and stuff like that for the most part not every time but for the most part where it says the stadium club icon they kind of just change the foil color i'm hoping for an auto though today that would be pretty sweet 2020 guys so who are we talking about here we're talking about uh oh my gosh jordan alvarez uh boba oh my gosh gavin lux luis robert uh kyle lewis i mean there's a few good guys in here obviously all right so let's get going so we got here kutch Ooh, that's a nice tie cob. I think I actually pulled that one before, but that's a uh, very nice picture right there. And Stadium Club is known for the uh, the pictures and stuff like that. The photography is beautiful. We got a Vladdy Jr. That'll be a second year card there in the wings. Last but not least, Austin Riley, also a second year card on that one. I did not see any parallels or anything like that. The tie cob is definitely my favorite card from that pack. Several more packs to go here. Dylan Cease there on the back. Hey, Sandy Koufax. That is nice. That's a really nice picture there. I love Sandy Koufax. That's good stuff. I'll set that with the Ty Cobb. You got a Brian Reynolds. Roberto Alomar. How about some old school guys being thrown in here? That's awesome. Javi Baez flipped around. I'm guessing it is just a parallel, not an auto. And it is. One of those, I think they're called sepia. Javi Baez. And look at that. Dylan Cease. I almost feel like it's a variation, but I doubt it because it was the last card and we already had a uh, a parallel in here. Dylan Cease rookie. I mean, that that's an awesome picture. I can check the coding, but I don't remember how it goes. So it ends in 357 on that Cease. Let's get a basic card here. Let's grab that. Uh, let's grab the Brian Reynolds. How about that? Brian Reynolds ends in 357 as well. So that Dylan Cease is probably not a variation or anything like that, but still a very cool picture. For sure. Trey Mancini on the back here. We got Felix Hernandez. Miguel Sano. Salvi Perez. Backwards card here. Cattell Marte is going to be a parallel. And it'll be a red foil. You guys can see that pretty clear right there. Steam Club's in red. Same with the, uh, the fonts there for the name. We got that Trey Mancini there on the end. Actually, I guess I should keep the foil cards in a pile here for comparing the blaster boxes i guess try to keep a little bit of order here and let's see what we get in this pack tell Marte here on the end again how about that will clark photo look at that that's <laughs> pretty cool dressed to the nines tower glass now marcus simeon and we got a backwards jake Degrom. i think these are em emperors of the zone yeah, Emperors of the Zone, Jake DeGrom again. So some Jake DeGrom inserts in here. Catella Marte. And we'll actually throw that there. We've got four packs to go in this blaster. Uh, Robbie Cano. <laughs> oh, man, look at that picture of Horace Coriel Jr. Wow. Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. One junior to another. Nice picture there again, of course. Dansby Swanson should be a parallel. I'm going to guess black this time. Up, oh, nailed it. There we go. Black. Dansby Swanson parallel and Domingo Leiva. Rookie card right there. And everything looks like a photo variation because they're not the traditional photos that you would 
you know, that you're used to seeing, I should say, I guess, when you open this up. I thought it was almost a die cut at first. It's not. No more Mazzara. Hey, there we go. There's the man of the hour. Luis Robert rookie. That's probably going to be our best card that we pulled out of this so far. That's one of the big ones for sure. I was all over getting them. And, oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. Chrome, Stadium Club Chrome, insert Dylan Cease rookie card. That's actually nice. That is a nice one there. Very, very nice. If that was a refractor. Uh, those were worth some big money, so uh, that's a pretty cool card, though. That might be the new number one, actually. Might even edge out uh, that Luis Robert there. Bash and Burn, Acuna. Not too bad. I'll probably put that in my top five, I guess. We've got Robbie Ray. I guess I'm going to line up kind of my top five. I'm not going to change the camera angle, but you guys can see for yourselves. Patrick Sandoval, rookie. Albert Pujols. The one he does best looks like cranking one out there. Tommy Edmond. Backwards Stan Musial. That would be a nice looking card, I'm sure. Red Foil as well. That's a nice, nice card. Nice picture there. I like that one. And then how about that? All Rise for the Judge. Mr. 62 right there. That's a nice card. I put it in my top five, but I don't think it's actually going to make it right now. Based on the stuff I'm thinking in my head. And our final pack here. Shun Yamaguchi, rookie right on top. Hunter Dozier. Oh, the babe. You know, that's making the top five. I don't care what it's worth. The babe, you always got to put him in the top five. That is a nice pitcher there as well. Making a sweet catch, it looks like. There we go. Power Zone, Jordan. That is a rookie card there. One of the guys we were looking for, so that'll make the top five as well. JT Real Mutu to round it out. So... My top five, and no, well, I guess in particular, I'm going to do that Dylan Cease Chrome number one. And you guys can't really see it there. Maybe I'll show you guys a, an overview of these cards here at the end of the video. Uh, I think I'm going to do Luis number two. Probably do that Power Zone, Alvarez, Rookie at number three. Oh, got my oldies sitting here. I'm going to get Babe, even though it's a base card. Can't go wrong with that, and I'm just a sucker for Sandy Koufax, so this is just a personal preference. Not saying value-wise, it's the best, but that's going to be my number five card right there because uh, I do love the man, Sandy Koufax. All right, let's get into our second blaster here. Try and pawn this out real quick. All right. And this one, our kind of insert or special card or bonus, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a master photo base card variation. You guys will see what that's about here in a minute. There's the odds. Let's get into this one. See what we get. Oh, that's right. They don't even package it up, so it's sitting loose here. It's going to be a Javi Baez. That is our master photo. Javi Baez. Nothing crazy there by any means. Put this up there. And like I said, guys, I am looking, hopefully, for an autograph. That would be my kind of hope. Pulled quite a few autographs out of Stadium Club. Very nice photography, as you guys have seen this time here. Jorge Soler. Uh, that one's not backwards, but that is a parallel that Anthony Rizzo looks like. I can't remember if they call it silver or gray or ash or what the heck they call that. But uh, oh, look at that Johnny Bench. <laughs> That's got to have consideration just based on that picture for the top five. That's pretty cool. Uh, Joey Gallo, Jake Cronworth, rookie. That's going to get consideration for the top five as well. Looks like another oldie. No, nope, not an oldie. Just looking at that dirt, and I was like, wow. Randy. That'll be a second-year card there on Randy Rosarina. A little die-cut action behind here. What we have here is a Freddie Freeman. Uh, Triumerites. I don't remember ever pulling one of these out. I don't think it's rare or anything like that, but uh, okay. I mean, I guess I'll give it consideration since it's an insert for the top five. Sixto Sanchez on a pretty cool up-close pitcher there, rookie. Ken Griffey Jr. base and Edward Olivares, rookie. All right. And on to our next pack here. Bruce Star Gratterall. We do have a backwards card. Maybe it'll be an autograph because, hey, we got Gavin Lux. That's a parallel. So maybe we've got an auto behind here. I hope. Gavin Lux, Sepia. 
Bryce Harper, there ain't no freaking way that's an autograph. <laughs> no way would that be an autograph. I don't buy it for two seconds. Oh, it is a Chrome insert, though. I'll take that all day long. That's a nice one. Good player to get there. So that is probably that's going to be my number one card for right now uh, from this one. That's a nice one. Juan Soto and Jose Abreu. So that is nice. Nice pull right there. Dylan Bundy, virtual reality, Kyle Lewis, insert there, Kiebert Ruiz, rookie, uh, Bobby Delbick, rookie, I actually pulled the uh, the Chrome Refractor, that one, and Fran Mel Reyes, we'll put that Bobby Delbick in the top five as well, at least for right now, next up, uh, Trevor Rogers, rookie, we got a backwards Eloy here. Superstar duos. Don't remember what those look like, but uh, that's pretty cool. What's the duos, though? Just two different pictures of them, I guess? I don't know. That's cool. I'll put it in the top five. Why not? Or the consideration, I should say, for the top five. Larry Tavares, rookie. Deki Matsui and Nick Castellanos. All right, last three packs. All right, we got an Ian Anderson rookie on top. We got a Sepia Brady Singer rookie, top five consideration there. Sean Murphy, Teddy Williams, nice old school one right there. And then Kutch, Andrew McCutcheon, gotta love him. All right, getting down to it. Final two packs. We'll lay these out. Do a quick comparison. Nelly Cruz, oh, one of the throwbacks there. Nice one. Number one draft pick of the '90s, Chipper Jones. Definitely top five card there. Paul DeYoung, Joey Votto, and Randy Johnson. All right, guys, last pack. I'm going to line them up. I'm going to get out of here. Alex Verdugo, uh, Virtual Reality, you Darvish. Devin Williams, Hinjin Roo, and Clint Frazier rounds us off there. So uh, my top five on that one. Oh, I think I'm going to give the tip of the hat again to the Chrome insert there with the Bryce Harper. I gotta give Chipper Jones number two. I just gotta do it. Uh, what else am I gonna pull out here? I think I'm gonna give Bray Singer actually the tip at number three because it's that sepia parallel. Well, so I like I like Cronenworth a lot. You know what? I'm gonna go with the other two rookies here, Cronenworth and Bobby Delbeck. So that is gonna be our comparison there. I'll give you guys a little kind of view of what we're looking at there. If I had to pick between both of those right there, I think I would probably, ooh, that's a tough call. I think I'd actually go with 2020, mainly because of the old-timers that uh, we were able to pull out of there and stuff like that. Plus, that Luis Roberts, a nice one. And uh, we got a Chrome insert in each one of them. So, Not too bad, guys. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever y'all are at, and we will see you next time.